Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another paracord bracelet for you. Doing another Mad Max style. And um, we're doing the snake knot again. But this one is um, the True Lover's Knot snake knot paracord bracelet. So I've decided to use the uh, True Lover's Knot as the centerpiece of this bracelet. Okay, we did this with a nice red and tan. I love this color combo. And we've also done the Mad Max closure. Slightly different this time. We've got this little tab here with uh, some micro cord. Uh, it's kind of almost like a whipping to um, secure those cords instead of tying a diamond knot. Yeah, this is what we're doing today. It's a pretty simple project. Looks great. Nice and simple. It turned out really nice. Uh, remember, if you're looking for where to get Paracord, check out those affiliate links down below because when you shop through those links, you're helping out this channel greatly. All products and tools and stuff that I use in the video are down there. All right, so that being said, let's get into the tutorial. All right, guys, I got my paracord ready here, and I will annotate, of course, all my used lengths of paracord. So this one's quite easy, and it's the snake knot, which we've all done, but let's just go through it again. So we're going to start off by tying a simple snake knot. I'm going to take the cord on the left, the tan, bring it around the red, like so. And then we're going to take the red. You've got your paracord like this. Take the red, go behind the tan cord. Take the end and put it right through this space here and pull that through. Okay, so this is going to create our initial loop. We want to hide that ugly joined part. So what we can do is, see how I'm just shifting it over there? So you can shift that over there. Now, because we're doing this one Mad Max style, we need to make this loop on top as small as possible. Okay. So you can close that up as much as you can. Probably go even smaller. So as long as that loop stays hidden. Okay. It's okay if it shows a little bit. It's not a huge deal. So just work that knot until it's as closed as possible. All right, so I've got that closed up. The hidden part's not really that hidden. Or sorry, the join part's not that hidden. It's okay though. So now um, we're not tying these separate snake knots like before. We're gonna tie this more like the true snake knot style. So um, I know we just tightened this knot, but let's loosen up this uh, tan loop here. Just ever so slightly. Kind of pinch it with your fingers there. Take the red cord, bring it behind the tan, and feed it through like so and then close it up, okay? And pull that shut. Okay, now turn it, let it turn, and then to repeat the same process. Whichever loop is on the outside here, you open that one up, bring the opposite color behind it, and go right through, and close it up. I find this method of the tying the snake knot a lot easier just because um, you can keep everything nice and tight. And again, turn it over. See the one with the two loops here? Loosen that. Bring the red behind, so behind it, like there, and then go through. Okay, so you can see our snake knot starting to form. See that little loop there? That's where we're going to be putting the um, the ends through to create the Mad Max closure, but we can do that with our FID later. So now we're just going to start to tie our bracelet all the way down, our snake knots. And you want to go about halfway, whichever, whatever that measurement will be for you. So now just, yep, continue tying the bracelet. And when you get about halfway through your length, you, we can tie the uh, true lover's knot. Okay, so continue going and then we'll do that. Okay, so uh, I've tied half of my bracelet here, as you can see, and we're going to now add our true lover's knot in the middle. Unfortunately, just due to the way this turns out, the colors will be flipped, but I don't think that's a bad thing. So we're gonna start off with the strand on top. We're gonna to tie a simple knot like so. So we're gonna make a loop I'm going to go behind like that and then bring the cord to the front and put it through. 
So you want your chords overlapping as such. Okay. And next we're going to take the red. We're going to go through from the bottom. And then we're going to go around to the front like that. And then we're going to go again th from the bottom through the loop like so. Okay, so we have these two simple kind of overhand knots and now we just kind of tighten them up. So just cinch everything out. Okay, and there we go. So we cinched out all the excess. I find this knot looks better if you don't pull it too tight, right? And then now from here, we're just going to continue our uh, snake knot. Yep, so from here, just continue tying snake knots again. Now, quick tip, um, you see how there's a doubled up tan strand here and the proper presentation side looking here? Start on this side, okay? Because you want this um, kind of double knotted look to look on the back side, so it looks cleaner on the other side. You see what I mean? So let's do snake knot again. Tan side on there. Right? Just tying the same snake knot. Close that up. And then open up that tan loop. And then put this through. Close that up. And then when you turn it over, and we continue on this side. Again, I'm gonna open up the loop, the red loop, put that one through. See, there you go, see? It's nice and clean now. We got the uh, single snake knots on this side and the double on that side. Because if you did it the other way, you would have seen this double part on the presentation side. So just be aware of that. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm just gonna continue tying my snake knot all the way down. All right, so I've woven down the other on the side of my snake knot, and we're just about done. So to finish it off, let's uh, get our fit out. I'm going to attach it to one strand here. And just pay attention to your presentation side. So that's our presentation side there. Okay, so let's bring it around to here. Remember that loop up top here? Right there. Now we're going to put both strands of paracord through here. Okay, so let's get one strand through. Like so. And then we'll do the same with the tan strand. Get that through here as well. Okay, so got both strands here. You can see our bracelet forming like that. And now from here, you can tie whatever knot you want to, um, you can tie the diamond knot or whatever you want. But what maybe we can do this time to change it up is um, I'm gonna take some micro cord and maybe just tie a small cobra knot section here. So I just got a uh, short piece of microcord here, about maybe a foot section, and then we're just going to tie a one inch section of a uh, cobra knot here. Okay, and there we have it guys, we are finished. Got that paracord snipped and singed, that little section here tied off. Works great as a little closure there, as a knot instead of tying the diamond knot. 
It's a great solution if you're short on cord and you just want to end it right there. And there we have it. This was the True Lovers Knot Snake Knot Paracord Bracelet. Hope you guys like this one. Remember to check out those affiliate links down below where to get paracord and whatnot. Because when you shop through those links, you're helping out this channel greatly. And also, um, if this is your first time visiting my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button if you like what you saw. Because uh, this channel is all about high quality paracord videos. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.